if you have a Ryzen APU and a dedicated GPU, you can use both of them working for your PC to take the most advantages from them. And uh, this also works when you have a Ryzen APU and a, and a NVIDIA GPU. You can also use them at the same time. The main reason why I want to use them in the same time is that we can take the advantage from the blue sky frame rate converter. So it can help me play the video. It helps us playing video at higher rate frame rate. See here, actual FPS is from 30 to 60. So with both the GPU and the APU installed on your PC, you start your computer. You press the delete key on your keyboard to enter the BIOS setting. And uh, in the advanced NB configuration, the IGFX multi-monitor, here means the APU, we make it enable. And uh, primary video device is the uh, PCIe video. For the UMA frame buffer size, we make it 768 megabyte is just enough for the 1080p playback. And uh, make sure that in the boot, you turn off the CSM. Make sure the CSM is disabled so it will boot as the UEFI mode. And then in the resize bar, you need to turn it on. And in the advanced tab, here the PCI subsystem settings. Make sure the resize bar support is auto. About 40 decoding is enabled. And then we exit and save changes and re save changes. Or you can just press F10. Then we save the changes and uh, restart the computer. So in the device manager, make sure that both of the GPUs, the APU and the GPU are enabled and the drivers are installed properly. So there is no emphasis mark here. OK. Then in the display settings, graphics, you browse to the port player install folder. By default, it's in the C drive program, down port player folder. And you choose this port player mini 64 and add it. So you can find this. And in options, you choose the specific GPU and choose the APU graphic card here and save. Then in the Blue Sky Frame Rate Converter, make sure that the AMD Fluid Motion Video is enabled for the APU here, Radeon Graphics. And here, we check on all these options and make the output as auto is OK. Then close. See so you play a normal video with the pot player. And then you can see that the actual FPS is from 30 frame rate to 60.
so the video will be more smooth. And when you're used to watching videos in this mode, you can't get back to the 60 FPS because you can tell the difference with your own eyes.